Jesus died on a cross. Ever, ever wonder why? Why? Why a cross? I, and I don't mean like the theology of, okay, well, Jesus had to die on the cross in our place to satisfy the wrath of God so that we could be, I don't, I don't mean the theology. I mean, like, why specifically a cross? I mean, there's been all kinds of different forms of, of capital punishment through the ages, right? In our country, we've got lethal in, injection and electric chair, not in California. I don't know. Um, but, you know, think about through the rest of, of history, we've had beheadings, hangings, shooting squads. But God picked a cross. God picked a cross. Why a cross? One of the things that the Bible teaches is that God and his sovereign reign over time and space and history, that he specifically chose the time that he sent the Christ into the world, the very age and time period that he sent him in. I think one of those reasons of why God picked the time frame of the first century in the whole vast scope of human history is because it was the time of the cross. Uh, experts say that crucifixion is hands down the most painful way to die. It's a long, drawn-out way to die, usually over a period of several days. Um, very painful. I recently had six screws and a metal plate screwed into my arm, so I've got a little bit of taste of what metal in your body feels like. I, I cannot imagine being nailed to a cross, especially without any pain meds. Uh, crucifixion. The way it, it works uh, is, is that when you're crucified on a cross, you have to push on the, the nail and pull up on your arms in order to get air. But as you lose blood and your body weakens, pretty soon you don't have the strength to pull yourself up anymore and you die of, of suffocation. That's how you die on a cross. Pretty brutal. So I think one of the reasons that God wants us to know why he picked a cross is he wants us to know how much we matter to him, that he would be willing to undergo one of the most painful and inconceivable ways of, of dying, that he would be willing to do that and die for us. There's also some other interesting things going on, I think. The story of the Bible says that things went wrong with the human race in the beginning, losing life at a tree. Everything began there at a tree. The promise of the gospel is that humans are given new life and are made right with God through Jesus, who was bound to a piece of wood from a tree. On the cross, God nailed him. For the plight of human beings. The goal of the cross for God is to bring his wayward children home. To bring them back to himself. To overcome the distance that's created by, by sin. And to make a way for people to come to know him as a loving father. For us to become his special sons and daughters in his family. And loving relationship with him. It's all about relationship. It may not be coincidence that the first movement of every baby after they are born to reach out their arms in crucifix form, looking for connection with their mother or father. The cross. The cross. Christ is the Christ of the cross. It's at the cross where we see Jesus strong, where we see him at his best, in his glory, suffering and undertaking all that he went through so that we could be forgiven and we could be healed and we could be brought into good relationship with God the cross is our symbol, the symbol of our faith and our identity as people. We don't get to God apart from the cross. So the question for us today really is, have we laid down our lives at the foot of the cross? One of the places that we get our church name from, Resolve, from 1 Corinthians 2, 2, that I have resolved to know nothing except Christ and him crucified, that life comes at the foot of the cross, it comes at the feet. Of Jesus. Do you know the Christ of the cross? The one that stretched his arms out to say, I love you this much. You matter so much to me. He was willing to give up his life. There's nothing he wouldn't do so that you would come to know his love and his goodness and his truth. You are loved and valued by God. You matter to him. That's what the cross says, that you matter. Today, if you're still wondering if God loves you or cares about you. Life just doesn't seem like it's going right at, at all. You wonder if God's still there, still cares. All you got to do is look to the cross. Look at the cross. 
see Jesus' sorrow and love mingle down for you.